smarter policies and more options for our seniors when it comes to housing and long-term care. Medicaid pays the bills for 60% of nursing home residents. Medicaid is a program where the federal government provides the funding and the states have some discretion on how they spend it. However, Medicaid currently does not allow states and seniors to redirect nursing home dollars toward programs like stay-at-home care. The COVID crisis has shown that shared environments and shared services can be harmful for people with pre-existing conditions and our seniors. Congress must pass reforms to allow seniors to have more flexible options when it comes to housing. It's a moral and economic imperative, as well as a priority when it comes to public health. We must also do a better job enforcing health and cleanliness standards at existing facilities and make sure that local leaders are equipped with the tools to handle future crisis events. This will make it so that we never have dangerous policies like we did in Michigan from our current elected officials. I have and will continue to fight for safe and affordable health care for seniors all across Michigan. Nursing homes and assisted living centers need access to our resources and support to ensure that they are offering the best care for our loved ones. And overworked and underpaid nursing home workers continue to face life and death decisions without adequate protection and supplies. That's why, as ranking member on the Homeland Security and Government Affairs Committee, I introduced a bill to provide $20 billion to help states, nursing homes, and intermediate care facilities contain the spread of the coronavirus. I also released a report on the impact of the coronavirus pandemic on residents and workers in nursing homes. I will do all I can to protect our seniors and those who work tirelessly to keep them safe, both now and when we make it through these challenging times.